If we're to turn to that devastating earthquake in Mexico, the search is on for survivors after that deadly quake struck about 75 miles southeast of Mexico City. The 7.1 magnitude quake killing more than 200 people. Many are still missing this morning. Our senior national correspondent, uh, correspondent Matt Gutman is there for us and has the latest. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Robin, and that death toll continues to rise with each passing hour. We now know that there are at least 20 school children among the dead. Officials say they were trapped when their building pancaked on top of them. And now in Mexico City, the frantic effort to try to rescue those that are still living. This is what it looked like when the 7.1 quake struck near Mexico City. Oh, Lost the building, Mexico City. Powerful enough to pancake office buildings and schools. At least 21 children and four teachers killed after an entire wing of an elementary school collapsed. Rescue workers scrambling to find the missing. Overnight, they clawed at the wreckage, some with bare hands. The injured hauled away on stretchers, even in the arms of first responders. And that shaking lasted for agonizing minutes. It got even more intense and really started shaking. Inside this newsroom, the walls shaking. Throughout the city, alarms blaring, cars frozen the moment the quake struck. At a standstill, drivers scrambling out. Things in your house are falling over and are shattering. And throughout central Mexico, those choking clouds of dust, people panicking and praying. I still don't feel safe. I feel like I'm, I'm living in an afterthought constantly. As windows slip down buildings like sheets of ice, debris crushed vehicles. Oh my gosh. The water at this park splashing as if in a giant bathtub. The quake struck just hours after countrywide earthquake safety drills on Tuesday. Drills that were put into place after Mexico's deadliest earthquake Mexico back in 1985. Shockingly, that quake, which killed thousands, rocked Mexico on the exact same date, September 19th. Then there were 10 hours. And hampering the rescue efforts even more is the fact that there is no electricity in much of Mexico City. Nearly 4 million people cut off from power and the roads are in such bad shape that rescuers are struggling even to reach those who need help. One more thing, we flew in here to Guadalajara, a six hour drive away because the Mexico City airport was so badly damaged. Robin. All right, Matt, this yeah. is the destruction that you see there. A lot of destruction there, and President Trump has sent his condolences to Mexico saying, we are with you and we will be there for you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.